Okay, so I'm going to check that pre-tuning table over here. It's totally minuscule, so I made a bigger one. And it, it's in big, and it tells you the frequencies that you should set the um, synthesizer at, and the voltage you should get in pre-tune. And since it's an easy measurement, I'll try that first. And the pre-tune test point is on the underbelly of the instrument. Actually, it's in continuing with how well this thing is engineered. Everything is written clearly. It's pre-tuned. Pre-tuned. And fortunately, I had the good idea of uh, buying that uh, multimeter very recently. And let's see how that works. So, I'll get it to 320, which is the first measurement. There we go. And it says 7.0 volts. And it should be 7.34, but plus minus 5 volts, so it's actually within range. So let me measure a few more. The good thing is that when I turn it down, let's go to the 722 for example, see if it moves the right direction. And it's 5.8, and that is about right. 22 should be 6.12, so once again it's not exactly there, but it's within range. So maybe that's fine actually. So I measure now all the pre-tuned voltage values. And you know what? Those are not the closest one, but they are within spec. They're all a little low. But all the bits on the DAC seem to work. They decrease one by one in about the right amount. So maybe it's the VCO that's uh, not tuned properly in free running mode, so we'll check that.